these pedals are going bye-bye. They have been sold and we will see the replacements here in a few moments. Let us see. I'm going to assume you already know what this is and I'm not going to say another word. Get out the slider on out. Too tight of a fit. Okay. Oh, it's already pretty much assembled. I was expecting to have to like put it together. Okay. They're definitely substantial. I feel the extra weight. Again, this is this is bag thing. Like, just make it a dollar cheaper. No one's gonna store their damn pedals in a bag. Oh wow. I mean, I've seen this these pedals on on video before, but looking at at the quality in person, wow. That's very nice. Okay. These are the pedal extensions slash different pedal faces if you want them. And got some grease, the springs and cables and mounting hardware. I don't know. Okay, this looks like just to switch out some of the screws maybe. Not sure. Let's mount them on it and then we'll see what we got to change. Switch the pedal out. I changed the, the, the clutch spring out to the black spring and it made the clutch feel a little bit stiffer. There's no way I'm going to probably get it close to a real car. So I guess this is as good as it's going to be. I adjusted the load cell brake with this toolless feature here. All you do is twist it uh, either left or right to, depending on how, how stiff you want it. And I left the throttle just exactly like it was. I kind of feel like that's enough resistance. Um, it springs back well enough. Today we'll be using this flathead screwdriver bit brought to you in part by the ground. You may ask how I got this way ahead of schedule. And the answer is I overpaid for it on eBay. But it's a brand new unit. Supposedly, we'll find out. Looks like it's been dropped. But they usually package their stuff pretty damn well. I always try to keep the boxes here because it's for resale value. Oh, it's a big boy. Okay, there's the sequential knob. Lightweight. But pretty cool. Cables, cables, more cables, some hardware and some mounting screws. They don't usually come with that kind of stuff. And that's the main course. Seems to come in sequential mode. Oh wow, that's really easy. Okay, so you gotta push it down before you get in. Okay. That's reverse. Feels very cool. I will be adjusting it to be as tight as possible. They really made the, the sequential shifting very easy to manipulate there. I'll probably sell this knob here, I don't know. Okay, let's get it mounted up. I'd like to point out one thing. So the included hardware is to mount the handbrake to the shifter. So they actually do not include mounting hardware to actually mount it to your, your rig, which is upsetting. You know, th this is expensive stuff. Include a few screws, fanatic. So I'll be using my own hardware yet again. Well, let's try a Dirt Rally 2.0. Slow on 70 turn early short square right opens long and tightens six of a crest 80 three left tightens of a crest 
at five right. Very long of a crest, 60. Five right long, caution times two, keep in. And three left, times two. 60. Five right of a bump, caution times two. Turn two left, extra long, times of a crest, opens five. 30. Four right. And five left. Into six right, opens very long, caution times three. And four left long, opens five. 40. Three right. 50. Slow three right, times two, give in. And two left, very long, don't cut rocks inside. And two right to a crest. Into three left. 40. Five right, very long, and tightens of a crest. The sudden, four left, and slow shot, three right. 30, caution open, and bit left. Don't cut, drops inside. 50, turn square right. Into four left, opens. 30, three left long, don't cut, ditch outside. Into shot, four right, four left. Into four right, tightens three. Into three left long of a crest, 30, four right, very long, tightness three, don't cut rocks inside, into six left, open to the crest, 60 of a dip, keep middle of a crest, a sudden five right, don't cut, into six left of a bump, 60, keep left of a jump, into five right tightness of a bump, six left, very long, caution tightness, four of a crest, into five right, 40, keep middle of a crest, 40, three right, don't cut, 80, four right, tightens of a dip, opens, 80, caution, two left of a crest, 50, four right, tightens of a crest, don't cut, 40, one left, very long, don't cut, rocks inside, and a five right, extra long, tightens, to keep right of an 80, three left, and five right long, 40, four left, opens of a bump, into four right of a crest long, 100 of a bumps, four right, very long, 80, six right long, into flat left, and six right of a crest long, tightens five, 40, five left long of a crest, the crest the the four four long, don't cut, 100 of a bumps. Right, right, right of a bump, 130 downhill, caution slow, four like right long, I've tight, to turn, more and more square left, don't cut, here. open, three long, um, 40, four right, tightens, stitch outside, into three left, extra long, caution tightens, and two right, extra long, tightens, and keep left, into short two right, and four left long, tightens three, extra long, opens fifty, turn one left, give in. Into six right, extra, extra long, over the finish. One tightens four right, just okay, three thirty nine. It's so my best time with paddle shifters, no clutch, just the handbrake and the wheel pretty much, was three twenty four. So I'm a Almost a full, let's see, almost a full 20 seconds slower. Now, I'm not saying that I can't get to the point to where I might be faster with, you know, the H pattern. That just goes to show you how much more you're having to do to, like, keep up with yourself. Paddle shifters are definitely, like, if you're, if you're trying to be competitive, paddle shifters or sequential all day. Like, there's, there's no comparison. Um, that's also why a lot of race cars use paddle shifters and sequential shifters because it's, it's a faster way so but uh I, i'm happy with this i do feel like it should have been more robust for the price i'm not going to tell you how much i paid for it but it should be like 250 plus shipping um I'm, I'm embarrassed to tell you how much i paid for it but i was desperate for an h pattern shifter there's this play in weird areas I mean, every shifter in, in real life has has this kind of a play, but it doesn't have this kind of play. Like, I, I'm, I'm twisting it. I don't know if you can see how much play that actually is. A couple millimeters left and right. But uh, hopefully they fix that. The switching it to sequential is extremely easy. One, one finger operation. 
and uh, pretty satisfying. Like that would be probably too stiff for most people, but I think that's it's very tactile, and I, and I like that. So um, I think I do. I will use sequential shifting for like rally cross and stuff, but the H pattern um, feels like the way to go for rally and for just messing around. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little look at my updated rig and this should be how it stays for a good while have a good day thank you for watching and i hope to see you in a future video